Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Mac specific keyboard shortcuts. So things that are just going to make you so much more productive when you're using your computer, whether you're a student or you're working with a computer every day or you're just using your computer a lot for personal reasons, these shortcuts are gonna make your life so much easier. And these are gonna be basically the keyboard shortcuts that I use every single day and believe to be some of the most crucial ones. So there's gonna be some basic as well as some more like advanced keyboard shortcuts in here, but they're all really easy to learn. Again, the second you start memorizing it or you start using them, get in the habit of using them, they will just make your life so much easier. Let's start with a relatively easy one. The first keyboard shortcut is how to preview a file. So whether you have a PDF like me saved to your desktop or you're in Finder looking at your documents and you just wanna see a preview of the selection, all you have to do is click on the PDF and hit the space bar. It'll bring a preview of what it is. So this will work with photos, with documents, with pretty much anything on your computer. If you hit space bar, it's gonna show you a preview and you can do quite a bit. So you can scroll on the pages themselves on the left-hand side, or if you go to the right, you can really like click and drag to get to the bottom of the PDF and preview that page. So I use this a ton if I have a bunch of images and I'm trying to find the one I'm looking for and you can highlight a bunch of images at once, hit the space bar and it'll show you all of them in a preview. So you don't even need to preview one document at a time. The next thing is Spotlight Search. And if you are not familiar with Spotlight or you don't already use it, I highly recommend this be the first thing you try to introduce to your workflow because it's just gonna become your best friend. Like it's basically a menu for everything in your computer you can pretty much access. So the way you activate it is by hitting Command Space Bar and it brings up this little search bar. And so you can do things like defining a word. So happy and you can scroll down to definition and see a little preview or you can even hit the enter return key to open the dictionary app itself. The other thing you can do with Spotlight is use it as a calculator. So instead of pulling out your phone or calculator, so you can just type in like five plus five, you don't even have to hit enter. Again, you can see a little preview that it equals 10. Same thing with multiplication or even division. So super quick, super easy to access all of that. The other thing you can use Spotlight for is conversions. So if you wanna do, let's say 30 Canadian in USD, it'll give you the answer again right away here without even opening a website. It's all from your keyboard. And even you can do a thousand milliliters in liters and it'll show you. And the other big thing is opening apps. So I can just type in Google Chrome, hit enter, and it's gonna open up the app for you. Same thing, if I want Notion, it'll open it for you. So super easy. You can just do everything from your computer. It doesn't slow you down by going to your trackpad or going to your mouse or anything like that. Your hands are already on your keys and you can do so much. All right, now here's another one that I use and love all the time. And this really helps when you wanna switch between apps. So let's say you have, right now I have Google Chrome and Notion open, but I'll oftentimes have music open, iMessage open, calendar, like all these different apps open. And what you can do is use command and tab and it brings up this little like bar. And if you hold command and keep pressing tab, it'll cycle through the apps that you want from left to right. If you go command shift tab, it'll go in the opposite direction. So you'll start going from right to left. So just again, a really easy way to cycle through the apps you currently have open. So right now I have Notion. If I quickly wanna go to Google Chrome, I would just highlight Google Chrome, let go, and it'll open up Google Chrome. Same thing, if I wanna go back to Notion, Notion. If you use your computer to write, and it can be in Pages, in Google Docs, in Word, these commands are pretty much universal across the board, even in the Notes app. Let's say you have a huge document of text here. Today, I have ingredients on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So let's say I'm at number one and I have an edit and I wanna skip to the end of the line. Well, typing command and right arrow will bring me to the end of the line I'm in. 
Same thing if I go down, and now I want to get to the beginning of row two, command left arrow jumps me to the beginning of that line. But row two flavor is spelt the American way without a U. I am Canadian. Flavor needs to have a U for me. So by pressing option instead of command, so option and the right arrow, it's gonna jump in between every single word pretty much. So I can easily go back, add the U and I can keep going if I need to go to any other word. Again, if I wanna now just jump back to the beginning of the row, I could just do command left arrow instead of the option arrows to go in between. Now, if you're still in this document and all of a sudden you wanna make large edits at once, you can highlight by adding shift to the previous commands. By doing command shift arrows, it's gonna highlight everything from where your cursor currently is to the left or the right, depending on if you use the left arrow or the right arrow. So for example, if I go back to the beginning of the second line and I want to highlight all of line two, so I'm gonna do command shift right arrow and it's gonna highlight the entire line. If, for example, I want to just highlight two and jelly, I would do option shift right arrow and then I can just keep going until jelly is highlighted. And again, this will work in the middle of a row even, so command shift right arrow will hire everything within the bracket. If my cursor is where it is right now and I do option shift, I can go left to go jelly or I can go keep going right to get the whole bracket. It takes a little bit of practice to get used to these ones, but once you get them, they'll just make writing, taking notes so much easier and just the faster you'll be with your work. Another really common one for when working in documents or text editors is command A and that'll just select all the text. So if you wanna bold the whole thing or just delete it, command A and it'll select all of the text. Now another quick and bonus one, if you're in a document and you find a word that you don't know the definition of, you can do the command spacebar, type in the word and find the definition. But even easier what you can do is if you highlight the word and control command D will actually bring up the definition of the highlighted word right away. Another quick one is to bring up the preferences for any app you currently have open without having to again use your mouse. So if you have an app open, like right now, I have preview open for this PDF. If you hit command comma, it automatically brings up the preferences for that app. Super easy if you just wanna adjust the settings in whatever app you're in. All right, now this last series of keyboard commands is gonna take screenshotting to a next level. So if you wanted to screenshot this entire desktop window for whatever reason, you would do command shift three and it'll take a screenshot of the entire window that is open and save it to your desktop. So then when you go to your desktop, you would be able to find it and I'm gonna hit preview. So the space bar to preview it, you'll see the screenshot that we just took. But let's say you don't actually wanna take a screenshot of the entire window and you only wanna take a screenshot of the text. So you would do command shift four and you'll see your cursor changed. It brings up like a little click and drag thing. So now you would click and drag the selection that you want, let go, it captures the screenshot. Again, it's gonna save it to your desktop and you'll see it pop up, click it, hit the space bar to get a preview of the screenshot. And I mentioned this earlier, you can also use that space bar preview for multiple items. So for example, if I wanted to highlight those two, hit the space bar, it'll bring up the preview and I can use the arrows to just go between the two screenshots. Now that is how you screenshot to save to your desktop. But let's say now you want to screenshot and add it to another document or add it to an email or whatever it is. Like you know you're just taking a screenshot and adding it to whatever you're doing immediately. It's the same keyboard shortcut but you would add the control key. So I would do control command shift four. Again it brings up the little cursor to select your screenshot, let go, and I would just 
if I wanted to type paste it right away into let's say a new document, I'll do the command V to paste and the screenshot appears. So it's really easy if you don't actually need the screenshot to go to your desktop. Those are the main screenshot commands that I use all the time. A fifth similar one is if you wanna actually do, or I guess four, I can't count, the fourth, command shift five. So it looks a little bit different because I'm already recording my screen to be able to add it to this video. But if you do command shift five, you can actually record your entire screen. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching today's video. Give the keyboard shortcuts a try. Don't get discouraged if you forget or don't get them right away. I, when I was learning them, I wrote them down on a little post-it note and had the post-it note literally attached to my desktop so I saw it all the time. And you just get in the habit, you get familiar with them, you start using them in your workflow. Honestly, keyboard shortcuts are a game changer. They just make life so much easier. So hopefully they were helpful. Let me know if you know any other keyboard shortcuts. Please add them to the comments. I'd love to, again, learn them myself. If you have any other productivity video ideas or if you want to see anything else I'm doing in terms of productivity, add those to the comments as well and I can maybe make a video about that. So thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, as always, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. That's it. Have a great day. Bye.